Hi, thanks for watching. Going to be showing you how to get the Sunrise Invasion achievement, which is... I've already got it, so it's down here. There we go. So, as Japan conquer Mexico, then Europe before 1945. Sounds kind of difficult, but it's really not that hard. Um, first, you just have to take the Netherlands and puppet it but take the states over here, and you can also satellite the Dutch East Indies. Then take out America, which is pretty early, uh, pretty easy this early in the game, before taking Mexico, then annexing your puppet. So, so far all I've done is sort of organize my armies, navies, air force, and so on. Uh, but the first focus we're gonna take is army expansion law, um, just because we need to get a bit of army XP to change some of our templates and then prepare for our invasion of the Netherlands. So we want to do this as soon as we can. Justifying we'll need 40 political power, so we'll have to wait a little bit. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm just training to try and get some army XP. Okay, so now I've got 40 political power, I can justify on Holland, take 200 days, and I'll also join the Axis in order to do my naval invasion. So German Reich accepts, get some steel from them. So you're going to need naval supremacy, which can be a bit complicated because as you can see, our navy can't get here, even if I ask for docking rights from Germany. Well, I've already got them because I'm in the Axis. Um, basically, I can't get over there. So I have to use one of my carriers and sneakily get them through. It is the converted cruiser hull, I think. So, yeah, with the 4,000 range. So if I take this one out and manually send them to VSAMs, this carrier has got enough range to fit through. And then you'll see in a second when I merge that with the other carrier it, they don't seem to care about the um, naval range so they'll just join up into one big fleet so for the naval invasion you can basically prep from one of these to take that it should be pretty easy I mean the main thing is you don't want to call in Germany or any other country that's joined the Axis because at that point they'll start to take territory and you need the whole of the Netherlands for the achievement. Okay, so I'm moving my armies over to Holland but you can see that my carrier has made it to port in here. So now if I merge it's, it's important that you click on the one that you're trying to get there to merge with the one that's already there rather than the other way around. Uh, so merging those, this fleet will now move all the way over there even though it doesn't have the naval range. I think this didn't matter before man the guns but now with updated kind of way that naval stuff works it's changed. Our focus has also popped, so we've got our nice army experience, and now I'm going to start going down, purge the code of faction towards national mobilization law, national state defense, or national defense state even, uh, reshut the slot, and war industry, things like that. Just to start building up our industry to make our nice divisions. Our divisions, we're going to try and go for 14 fours. Hopefully we've got enough production to get them going. That should do for now. And we'll also need to upgrade our marines pretty soon. 
we're very low on guns at the moment though. But should be fine. Enough to deal with the Netherlands for now. Okay, so how long do we have left on? So I've done that all pretty much within. You're basically ready for the war. All in 20 days. Just got be all divisions to get over there. As for research, I've basically done some of the basic ones. I've grabbed the electronic mechanical engineering going for radio now so that I can get a signal company and then also gone for superior firepower and dropped ground battle plan. This is kind of my first video I've been planning on the uh, Hoi 4 achievement. Basically going to be a series of tutorials so if there's any in particular that you'd like to see let me know. I always just let the naval treaty expire because Italy seems to leave anyway, so it doesn't really seem like there's any need to do anything with us. Also, this I'm pretty sure is the most balanced way of picking the inter service rivalry. This was something that really confused me when I first saw it. But you're basically trying to balance it, so I've got one bonus for the army, which is the tank and then one bonus for the navy. The green ones are basically the ones I'm going to pick. So still for guns, your military factories are much more useful than your naval dockyards. Uh, naval aircraft production cost reduction is massively useful once you get the Mitsubishi Zero. Uh, grant draft exemptions is basically just to balance out the raiding regiments which gives you plus two percent special forces capacity which lets you have nice and tasty big marine units. Uh, so I think I'm going to go priority is still for guns to get those extra factories at the moment. Just because we're really low on guns. So where are our guys? So they're just coming up. Red Sea at the moment. You don't really need to worry about the war with China, in definitely in terms of this achievement, because it actually works out rather well. You, th the China's never going to attack you first. All they do are border provocations. So, in actual fact, you get a war goal on China without having to do the Marco Polo Bridge incident, and so you don't have all of the negative buffs that you get with the incident so when you have done this achievement if you wanted to carry on playing you get a nice war goal against China without needing to wait until you've done all of your escalate the war um, events okay so we're almost ready we've got the war goal I'm just waiting for okay. one more group of marines to get over to where they're supposed to be and then we're gonna go our naval invasions are ready fleets are in position all good to go put these to naval invasion support submarines not worth it because they might just get sunk pretty easily this is a really useful feature the terrain tool just because it tells you especially for naval what it's going to do to your ships. So if I put my submarines out here, they're just going to get plus 100 visibility, minus 5 positioning. So it, if you put submarines in a shallow sea, they're just going to get found by naval bombers or enemy ships and sunk really easily. So how long is that going to take? Six days. Might as well do my focus. I'm about to get a war economy so I don't need that. Add asylum workhouse. Take that up to quick speed. I'm losing a lot of fuel at the moment but you'll notice once I've taken Holland it really won't matter. Let them all go up. War. 
Don't do not call the allies. Just attack yourself. And they should have a nice green there. Over the Benelux, because I'm not even sure if the Dutch have an air force at this stage. Fifteen planes. Germany will start lend leasing you, so you might as well accept. And my attack is off. Take a little minute for the war to end, just because it's over so quickly and confuses everything. And you're going to take this state here, nice 53 oil, and Suriname. You're going to leave that, you're going to satellite the Dutch East Indies, which can't do yet, so I'll end my turn get some points together satellite the Dutch East Indies and then you're going to puppet it's really important that you puppet Holland and don't take any states otherwise you won't get the achievement and done so now you'll see I've got this state here this state here I've got Japanese East Indies and I've got the Dutch Rink as one of the members of the Axis. So at this point, you can just leave the Axis because you don't really need to be a part of it anymore. Dimbius. But I'm going to leave yeah. and prepare my next naval invasion. Gonna go for national research policy, get the extra research slot. The main focus is that you want to try and grab before the war with America are supremacy of oil. Potentially the zero. That one would be useful. So you kind of need to start working down this one once you've got these kind of focuses. You don't need to bother with any of the normal ones because this just takes you to war with China, takes you to war with the Allies, which you don't need. So in order to attack the United States, you do not declare on the United States, declare on the Philippines because you will get a much this only creates 4% world tension, whereas if you declare directly on the United States, it creates 59. And you're trying to keep world tension as low as possible so America doesn't join the Allies. So you justify on them, I need one more political power. There we go. So that's 175 days. Should be plenty ready by then. And in justifying at this point, America has between 30 and 53 divisions, which are no match for your armies at this point. at the moment but yeah you can basically leave everything undefended because China's not going to attack Russia's not going to attack you're basically free to do whatever you like take that off there for now delete those zones now we're really going to need it on there put them on patrol for now just to get them to move over here. 
this, we can check again, deep shadow, don't want them there. Maybe those two. Convoy raiding, but I'll put them to port for now. Well, I'll do convoy raiding for a little bit just to get them to move over, so it doesn't take them so long when I actually need them to go. Get some more artillery. My army's a little small at the moment, but it should be fine. The main bonus is now that I've got that extra oil here, and I've got all the rubber I could ever need. I really don't have any kind of... I shouldn't have been getting my from them, should be getting it from right here. And the Netherlands have got a bit. I'm surprised the East Indies don't have much uh, steel. Because Malay has got a bit, okay. Who else is there? Now I guess I'll have to get the rest from Germany. Plenty of that. Cool. So I'm basically doing the normal techs. Nothing special here. Go for that. Put these on training again to get some more XP. So they are here, yeah, so I'll put those on. Look, they can't go over there. Oh, they can, but the two touch ones can't, which is annoying. Um, we're going to have to do the same trick as before. If we get converted cruiser hull, the whole show, it's 4,000, so we'll bring that one out. they'll still move over. Come watch them come over. I think I'm going to put them on two. They're going miles away though. Don't really want them to. Let's try and get them to stay here. Oh, you can go to Venezuelan ports. Do they decide to go back now? No, we don't want to do that. Anyway, now they're over here. I can get all the destroyers. Split them in half again, like they were before. And then simply add you back into the fleet you're already in. Another one in. If you've seen Man in the High Castle and you see Inspector Kido and the rest of the Japanese always talking about the Kido Butai. The Kido Butai is the Japanese word for the first air fleet, which is that one there. So Effectively, they organised their entire carriers into one big battle group, which was unprecedented. This is definitely the long way around. I 
guess I'll do grant draft exemptions for now, get that output bonus, or maybe I'll just wait. Yeah, I think I'll go for War Industrialist now. Still pretty short on guns. Change all of your divisions over to 14 fours. But these guys should melt. Fifty days. And how long until our justification is done? hundred and twenty-five odd. Okay, so my war goal has just popped with the Philippines. I'm pretty much ready. Okay. What's changed is I've set up a sort of defensive army just to protect in case the um, Americans try to do any naval invasions. And I've also got some divisions coming down so that they can be my defensive army to try and hold the line in case the Americans are pushing me back a little bit. I'm going to pop it now. He's on naval invasion support. He's on convoy raiding. And then declare war. Don't call your allies because you don't want Germany to join. He can go. There we go, and he's left. So we'll have him help them in, but then as you will be about to see, the Americans start to send their ships out to damage our convoys. So once our boys have landed, our fleet will have to go and protect our trade. I'm going to set up another invasion now to open up another front. as much as we can. Aggressive. Right, so I'm basically trying to do a quick little aggressive assault push here. Father, 
I go now to fulfill my mission and my destiny. I hope it is a destiny that will bring honor to our family. And if it requires my life, I will sacrifice it gladly to be a good servant of our nation. This is what you end up with. You've got a nice big United States. What you want to do to begin with is take all the states. And there you go. That's the United States defeated in 1938. Might want to leave the uh, faction at this point because Germany's probably quite close to doing Danzig or war and you don't really want to go to war with the allies just Hit it. at this point you can prepare to take Mexico which shouldn't be too difficult so then if you remember from earlier all you've got to do is take Mexico Uh, that's Sunset Invasion. Sunset. Conquer Mexico, then Europe. So we've got to take Mexico, and then all we've got to do is puppet or uh, annex our Dutch Reich. Which is why I've started building lots of convoys, because convoys give us the most amount of autonomy when you lend lease them to your subject. So at this point it gives Japan a ridiculously strong position in 1938. You've got nearly 300 factories. You can basically build whatever you want in as quick as you want. Unlimited resources, unlimited fuel. So really at this point you're pretty much unstoppable. Now I've got enough political power to justify on Mexico. <laughs> Just get ready to do that. Yes. This should be basically a walk in the park. One interesting thing though is now that you've got a ton of fuel and you can do this just as playing as America or any other country with enough fuel you can put all of your ships on naval exercises your fuel won't go down because you've got so much but you're getting one whole experience point a day so if you ever need points for your templates just trade for some fuel and you can get a massive amount of naval XP really quickly it's kind of overpowered if you've got a lot of fuel The only downside is that your ships get slightly damaged, but you've got so many dockyards, it really doesn't make a difference. We're going for the zero now, so I'll just need to go down carrier warfare experiment, so just a couple of focuses left. I think I'll start lend leasing them now. 
do once three hundred and sixty eight and then do it again monthly percent ninety five percent so this should bring them down pretty quickly and then the other bonus of doing it this way is you get this Chinese provocation at the border because you haven't done the Marco Polo bridge instant yet this basically gives you annex war goal against communist China and China and stops them basically forming the uh, big faction between all the Chinese nations and also doesn't give you all of the negative buffs that the Marco Polo bridge instant so this is minus 50% attack against the Chinese nations whereas this you just get a free war goal so it's another really p overpowered kind of exploit when you do it this way because obviously no one expects you to take out America in 1938 The other thing is it doesn't expire so you can just keep it until you need it. So I don't want to do it right now, I think it's going to Mexico. So I can just bank it and come back to it when I need it. Almost ready for the invasion. If you are wondering why I've got just groups of 100 and I'm going to be making some more. Effectively I can get an ace or I can get two aces now instead of just one if these were merged. So I'm not going to get the bonus on it now but with my thing for 15% ace generation chance for the Japanese this is really strong but it works for all nations basically I can just divide those now and now I've got four slots for aces instead of just one so it's a really powerful way of getting a bit of an extra edge on your units this was supposed to be my mobile I mean that's what I gave them the tire but it hasn't worked out just focusing on my katana samurai soldiers. I'm change it actually. Samurai. Could have some nice sound effects in the editing room a bit later. Start doing convoy raiding just to have a bit of fun. Jumpy up! Can't be bothered to deal with those for the moment. Declare war. Don't. I get the whole of the nice defenses myself. These marines are not going to do much because I've only got two. But hello, motherfucker. They just a bit of panic in the back. Speak up. Got there just in time. You can see their divisions are just nothing compared to fourteen Ford Marines. They can't do anything. Don't 
See, the thing is with this Chinese provocation, you get it just popping over and over and over again. But it doesn't really matter. You just get a tiny bit of damage on some of your factories, but considering how many factories you now have, it really doesn't matter in the slightest. I can't even keep building enough to keep up with it. I'll start building in Holland to try and boost my autonomy, or reduce their autonomy, I should say. States and turn done. They're already pretty low. Modify the land lease. That's not really worth it, is it? Only 26, that's ridiculous. Let's give them all of my things again. 65, only going to get 46. Let's give them some of these as well. Speed it up a bit. If you were only going for the f achievement then I guess this is an acceptable thing to do but then you should get your equipment back once you annex them or well, I'm not sure how much you actually get back but you at least get some of it give them some random American planes Down by a hundred. Okay, so as you can see, been lend leasing, been building, and finally brought them all the way down and just about to get enough political power in 1939, just before World War II officially starts. So, it kind of shows you how easy this achievement is to get, really. Um, it doesn't take a lot. Once you've taken America, you can quite quickly and easily do the rest of it and now they're annexed and that will be everything you need conquer Mexico and then Europe thank you for watching if you are looking for maybe more information on how to get the other Japanese achievement the um, Tojo shot first you can quite easily play on from here and just kind of rush nuke uh, technologies which is basically what I'll be doing in my next video so stay tuned <laughs>